Perhaps I should mention to you that heaven denounces the lack of responsibility of the sexual unions, as you of earth have come to practice them, the murders of the unborn, the use of another for gratification of human power needs and the activities which are given and experienced, in most despicable ways bearing disease and killing the very body seeking acceptance and pleasure. Love and union of emotion is a gift of experience given unto the soul, emotions, and have naught to do with body physical. That for which ye search is not fulfilled by any conjured activity of the human physical being. It is the behavior denounced, not the love and abiding seal relationship of that which you label heterosexual or homosexual. It is not love, responsibility, nor even caring when one would give fatal disease unto that other he claims to abide within love. Therefore, when ye are told the truth of it, you denounce and turn away. How can you believe and accept one thing from heaven and discard that very portion which allows your immortal soul transition into the glorious realms of higher dimension? Is the inference, somehow, that, if you have experienced the things which are against the laws of God and the creation that you are doomed and lost forever? Do not be foolish, all done in ignorance is instantly forgiven, as truth is noted and followed. As in the homosexual participant in any relationship, you turn from the placement of your parts of procreation or that which was purposed for speech into the places of fetal expulsion. Is that so very difficult to attain in truth? Is that act a true expression of your caring love of another being? What about the soul of the one so used, especially as he turns into the terminal case of cancer or pneumonia from the act? Can your soul find peaceful rest after having delivered your closest friend or child into the agony of death by disease which shall snuff out their experience in incredible suffering and lingering sickness? My laws and those of the creation were given unto you will physical experience to honor total simplicity and gain wondrous fulfillment and joy from your relationships with your brethren, to pass the journey of experience in learning and then make passage into higher levels of understanding and knowledge. You have now bound yourselves by shackles of lies into the endless rotation of the wheel of experience worsening with each experience, until you have forgotten all the truth of life. Most of you have wasted your experience and are the moving dead searching after bits of physical drugs to pass the journey. I judge not that which you did, I judge that which you do after learning truth. No man nor group of men slash women shall change one iota of the laws. You can all vote in favor of that which is evil and make of thine laws according to a land, and it means nothing, for you will continue to be consumed by that which is evil that ye have brought upon selves. The actions are totally and completely up to you. Do ye wish my hosts to come and tell you worse and more despicable lies? Is that for which ye seek in the perfection of God? More lies from my messengers? This is the time of the separation of those who are with me from those who stand against me. If you turn again unto the laws of truth, as given forth, you shall be given all assistance from my realms and from my hosts. Those who remain in deliberate practice of those things which are birthed of the physical and expended in human level actions have made their choices. If you turn unto the dark passages, choosing to forfeit the light, so be it for ye shall be left unto your choices, for I force not any creature, but you alone shall be in the choosing. Not only do I have total forgiveness, so can I cause your cure of the diseases besetting nine beings. Judgment. What of judgment? It is in no wise wise to fail to utilize the act of judgment. You judge not the man, you judge the action of the man. If ye cannot judge that which brings you into glory and light from that which casts you into the abyss of the void and into the darkness, ye shall pay greatly in sorrow for the lack of learning the difference in that which judgment defines in truth. I have come in many ways, many times and in many forms to show you the way and teach you truth through the word. I have sent many of my sons to give unto you truth and you have slain them and turned from them in denouncement and continuation of your defilement of your own places of nesting and corruption of thine selves and brethren, all relations of thine perfect planet with all wondrous relations of life beings put forth for your use and pleasure and you have trampled them, as pearls under your feet and spat upon them, as ye spilled their blood and crushed the life from their wondrous existence. You have turned in honor and bowing before the idols of things and unto the human beings who will enslave you. You have spat upon my messengers and cast the lessons and instructions into the trash, as you mock and ridicule and shout lies and false prophets. You no longer can discern that which is false from that which is truth, how did you expect God to return upon your place? You have been lulled into believing that you sit and wait to be whisked away to glory on the clouds, how foolish can a mortal be? 
ye cling to the lives, as, if they would save ye from the fire, while ye prepare to jump into the holocaust. Man has come into defiling all that he touches and this is evil and for that defilement he shall bring punishment unto himself, it shall not be of my doing. I offer you truth, the light, the way and the word. I extend my hand unto all who will take of it. I shall bring you home into my place of wondrous experience, but I shall force none, not by so much, as one hair of his head. Man shall turn about and into truth by his own free will or he shall perish in his own delusion. I shall weep and stand waiting, but I shall not pluck you out of your pit, except ye ask. So be it. I write this first word unto you, so that, as you pass this portion of this journal, you know, that which is given is truth, reason and injustness. This is the most important document ye shall ever be given for the last trumpet is sounding and ye have been again warned and petitioned and my messengers have pleaded upon bended knees to be heeded. I have given the written word unto another scribe, so that ye have not the excuse, I just didn't somehow believe Dharma, or, well, I just didn't somehow believe heaven. You are being given the facts behind the illusion of lives, so that you have opportunity to change your circumstance or move on into the abyss of the enslavement, for it is at hand, the time of the cycles upon your place wherein the separation shall be made. Do you see the writing? Mina, Mina, Tekalo person? For in the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand, and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace, and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Daniel 5:25. Do you see the hand that pens your fate? Do you hear the call of the trumpets which signal your fate? Do you take note of my messengers that you be given opportunity to rise out of the morass and into freedom? The moving fingers write and then, having writ, move on and so moves the truth of opportunity which knocked and you heeded not. Each of my messengers and scribes shall put this truth unto the people in the languages of understanding, the native of the ancient tribes unto his people and thus and so, so that all might be given into opportunity to come again into a remembering. But the word shall stand, lest ye think ye shall corrupt and tamper with the message, for no matter how ye tamper, it will change nothing. I ask, that Thomas take to pen and write a message from the Master Christus of the Sacred Infinite Circle to follow this and precede that of Drew. There is no new, it is information as old as unto the beginning and you have pulled away into your physical path of wanton actions and desires. Just as the obese person has the simplistic opportunity to simply close the mouth to lose of the fat, so is the simplicity of all of my instructions in order to come within the laws. And just, as will of the flesh is not strong enough to close of the mouth against the foods in excess, so ye shall be given strength, if ye but ask with intent of purpose, not of the lips that always pronounce lies, but the heart within in petition for aid. You shall be given that which will lift you up and you will give support unto your brethren and goodness can again flow across that wondrous place given into your care and you will be given to remember and awaken and you will set things to straight, as you turn from the beast that has pulled you into the pit. You shall move away in total newness, without looking back, lest ye be pulled again into the destruction. You need not fight nor war for those are not of my way nor of my kingdom, you recognize the evil, turn unto the light and the laws and move away and in so doing you remove the nourishment and support of the beast and the adversary shall devour itself for there will be nothing left to sustain him. You are given nothing herein which is difficult to understand, it is simplicity in every action and instruction. Ye can denounce and rebel, revolt and boil, while spewing venom upon the ones about me, but you will know, that what I send and bring is truth and right, and you will never be in the unknowing again, and that which ye do against me, shall be done in deliberate action and woe unto you who denounce and demand, that another follow you in your despicable path for ye shall bear a portion of that one's downfall upon thine own soul. Ye who feel frail and think ye cannot stand in truth, alone, ye are not alone, for I am the strength of the universe and I shall support thee. In the ending, precious ones, ye shall stand all alone, just the end and ye and there shall be none other to answer in your stead. I am coming soon, and my reward is with me, to repay everyone according to the deeds he has done and according to the moment of confrontation to that which lies deep within the essence through intent. I am the start and the finish, the beginning of counting and the end of counting. Blessed forever are ye who are tending thine houses and washing of thine robes, as ye remove the soil from their wellings, so that ye stand tall, as ye pass into the city through the gates, via my chariots of silver and golden wings.